From portion sizes to exclusives, we wanted to find out all the differences between McDonald's in the US, UK, Japan, and India. This is Food Wars. In the US, our McDonald's sodas come in three sizes. Small, medium. This is what a medium drink looks like. Japan's large. Regular, medium, and large. Our Chicken McNuggets come in four, six, 10, 20, or 40 piece. So with our McNuggets in the UK, the default adult sizes on the menu are a box of six. Six pieces, a box of nine, nine pieces, or and 20. 20 pieces. They gave it to us in two boxes of 10 each. In Japan, our Chicken McNuggets come in five and 15 pieces. In the US, you can get your fries in four sizes. Kids, if you get a Happy Meal, Small, Small fries in the paper bag, medium, medium, medium fries, and large fries. And large. Fries in India come in three sizes, regular, medium, and large. The medium and large come in these really cool new packaging where you can just open it up like that, and it's nice and easy to share. It's a little plate. Good job, McDonald's, very innovative. So we couldn't find an exact weight measurement for the fries online, so what we're gonna do is weigh them ourselves. Wow. Yeah, wow, that worked perfectly, the thing I just did there. Great job, Joe. Three exclusive burgers here in the US are variations on the Quarter Pounder with cheese. Yes, we've all seen Pulp Fiction. We know about the whole Quarter Pounder thing. It does not exist outside of the US, I don't think. So, the classic Quarter Pounder with cheese. Look at this guy. I mean, this is maybe my go-to one for a decade. The Quarter Pounder with cheese deluxe, I don't know. I feel like this is pretty close to a Whopper. I'm not a big Whopper guy. The double quarter pounder with cheese. Look at the size of this thing. Yes, sir. So here we've got the veggie deluxe burger, which is a veggie burger that's served with some mayo and some lettuce. Here we've got a chicken legend, which is a chicken burger, again, served with mayo and lettuce. We have a range of wraps that you can get in the UK. We have a wrap of the day. Here we've got the fajita crisp, which is some chicken, along with some veg and some spicy fajita sauce. Japan's exclusive burgers. Teriyaki Mac Burger, which is my most favorite one. My body is made of Mac Teriyaki Burger. Bacon lettuce burger right here. It looks sad. Egg cheese burger, but we also call it Eguchi. Egg cheese is an abbreviation for egg cheese burger. Japanese people love abbreviation. Next one, spicy beef burger. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it looks so spicy. A spicy mayo or something like that. So here we've got samurai muck. Samurai. And this blue one is called roasted soy sauce double thick beef. We've got roasted soy sauce bacon tomato thick beef. And this one right here is called teriyaki chicken filet. Wow, so much sauce. So next one we've got ebi filet. Ebi means shrimp, so it's a shrimp filet. Oh yeah, it's got aurora sauce. Aurora sauce is like a ketchup and mayonnaise. So it's got a lot of shrimp in there. Hmm, so good, so good. Here in India, we can't really recreate the iconic McDonald's Big Mac because it's made from a beef patty. And to keep to the religious sentiments of Hindus and even Muslims, we don't serve beef or pork in a lot of fast food restaurants. We have something called the Chicken Maharaja Mac. As you can see, it's got three buns, two patties, a lot of cheese and mayonnaise. Oh my God. That is truly a Maharaja Mac. Now let's taste the veg Maharaja Mac. Like, look at this. This is outrageous. There's no way to eat this without being messy. Mmm. Oh my God. That's really good. All right, next up is the iconic Mekalu Tikki Burger. You take mashed potato and you fry it in breadcrumbs and you get this really delicious cutlet. Mmm. It's just so classic. They nailed this burger. Next up, they have a Mek Egg Burger. Make egg, make egg, make egg. I don't know why I did that. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, 
Sorry. I did not expect pesto. Next up is a chicken kebab burger. This is not what we're used to seeing when we think of kebabs. The mech veggie, which is the vegetarian counterpart to our mech chicken. If I had to eat this versus the chicken one, I would not be upset at all. Really good. We have two American burgers, the American Cheese Supreme Wedge and the American Cheese Supreme Chicken. All right, so this is what the McDonald's website says is in this burger. Whole wheat bun sourced from Maharashtra, tangy jalapenos from Karnataka, shredded onions grown in local Indian farms, and cheese from Amravati, also in India. Quite, quite close to home, <laughs> this burger. Currently, this would probably be my favorite order, a mech spicy chicken. And there's the vegetarian option, which is a mech spicy paneer, which is just leaking lettuce. For those of you who don't know what paneer is, it's basically cottage cheese. We love our paneer. We put it in curries, we eat it plain, we put it in kebabs. It is so delicious. Fair warning, while this may have a light kick of spice for us, it might be a hard kick for you. So take everything with a pinch of chili powder. Every fast food chain in America right now is having what we're calling the fried chicken sandwich wars. Popeyes, uh, Burger King, of course McDonald's, all of them are at this arms race to have the best chicken sandwich. I think because Chick-fil-A has edged everyone out. These are the three that are currently available. I don't know for how long. We have the crispy chicken sandwich, I think this is a brioche bun, uh, pickles, and no sauce, which I think is strange. I like the, the whole flavor is just just the chicken, spicy chicken sandwich. Same deal, but of course, spicy sauce. And the spicy chicken deluxe, which has more vegetables on it, you know, to be healthier. <laughs> Actually, we were supposed to have buy burger options, but unfortunately, you can only get them from 5.30 p.m. But let me explain what buy burger is. Buy simply means double in Japanese. So if you order a normal Big Mac, it has two beef patties, right? But if you order buy Big Mac, it has four beef patties. But not, not only Big Mac, but all burgers and adapts the buy burger options. That would not stand in this country at all. People would lose their minds. Four patties on, one, uh, on a Big Mac? What we lack in beef burgers, we make up for in gourmet burgers. That's right, here in McDonald's India, we have our own collection of chef special gourmet burgers delicious and uh, i think this is a rolling menu i think they introduce new things from time to time the buns themselves look a lot more gourmet you know there's a nice riff down the middle kind of looks like a butt uh, but that's okay we're not going to concentrate on that first up we have triple cheese american veg burger and triple cheese american chicken burger cheese lava american veg burger and cheese lava american chicken burger again with american and again with the with a strange relation of food to volcanoes and lava this burger is very spicy this qualifies as a as a volcano product for sure congratulations mcdonald's the lava in the title of this burger works the McSpicy Chicken Premium, though, has an egg patty inside of it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's pretty good. I just feel so existential right now. Imagine sitting here at this table and just tasting every single burger on a McDonald's menu. Amazing. But also, shit. We also have some exclusive wrap options. We have Big Spicy Paneer and Big Spicy Chicken. I think this is the same mech spicy chicken patty and it's wrapped around a tortilla, which is actually way closer to an Indian chapati than most other fast food restaurants. It doesn't feel as synthetic. Okay, so when it comes to side menus, we've got shaka shaka chicken and we have two fla- oh, two flavors. Can you hear that? Thunder, thunder, thunder. Because it's rainy season in Japan. It's the sunny season here in Southern California. And here is red pepper. And this one is cheddar cheese. Thunder, stop! So all you have to do is just put the powder into the back and shake it. And the powder should be covering the whole shaka chicken. Ooh, big one. Like this. Mm. 
we've got side salad. And it comes with this roasted sesame dressing. Let's go. Ooh. That was cool. Now put it all in the garbage. We've got edamame and corn, yogurt, and there is cow, cow. Here we've got some veggie dippers. These were actually introduced as part of Veganuary in 2020 in the UK, but they've stuck on the menu. So these are Vegan Society approved, and they're sort of like a fried bean patty sort of thing. And then finally, we've got some mozzarella dippers, which are just kind of mozzarella sticks, really. Here in India, we have these add-ons. Number one, the Veg Pizza McPuff. It's basically a pizza hot pocket. Masala wedges. These are potato wedges with classic Indian masala flavor to them. Masalas are basically what we use to spice and flavor dishes. And they consist primarily of ground up spices like cardamom, cloves, red chilies, Kashmiri chilies. You go to every Indian home, the mums, the grandmums will have their own random, you know, masala mix that's guarded and treasured in their family forever. Next up, we have cheesy masala wedges. They're also serving a classic cup of boiled corn which is so unique and they give you a side of amul butter. Amul butter is part of our culture. Makhan, makhan. This is probably gonna be the most delicious bite of the day. I love corn. Next up, chicken strips. They come in packs of two, three or five. Cheesy nugget veg bites. This is just a vegetarian version of the chicken nuggets. Next, we have the double cheese McMuffin. And lastly, we have Mexican cheesy fries. On the McDonald's India website, one British customer said that these Mexican cheesy fries are the real deal. I have no idea how a British person can say that Mexican cheesy fries are the real deal, but anytime a British person says that another culture's food is the real deal, it puts a little fear in our small Indian hearts. So let's go with soft drinks right here. Fanta grape. And here is Fanta melon. And this one is Japanese vegetable juice. And there is, I guess, more than 20 or 30 vegetables in it. And it's good for health, for sure. Itadakimasu. Mm. We've got ku, white grape. So kenbicha. So kenbicha is like a Japanese blended tea. It's healthy. And Japanese people drink this on a daily basis. So next one, we've got Earl Grey iced tea. Let me show you. Wait, there is something. There's a mosquito. I have to make a complaint. Japan McDonald's. Next one, we've got Udon tea. So this is not actually Japanese tea, it's a Chinese tea. That's good for health as well. For health, we do have a mango pineapple smoothie and a banana strawberry smoothie. Smoothies have fruit in it, right? Oh yeah. I can just feel the nutrients coursing through my veins. We have something called be Naturals Mixed Fruit Juice. We have something that they call Raw Mango Fruit Splash. Oh, it's a bit too sweet. Berry Lemonade Splash. All of these come in these very unique reusable bottles, apparently. Next up, Strawberry Chiller, Green Apple Chiller, and Lemon Chiller. It's just flavored water. That's exactly what it is. It's flavored water and I kind of like it. This is a mixed berry smoothie. It's still quite sweet, but quite good. Next up, American mud pie shake. Mmm. That's pretty yum. Exclusive hot drinks. First off, we have strawberry green tea. Next up, uh, English breakfast tea and Moroccan tea, a flat white coffee. India a land where we run on chai and McDonald's does not have a chai option. Waffle cones right here. So we got plain. So plain means it's like rich milk taste. And next one is strawberry. Strawberry, personally I like this. 
The next one is chocolate and almond right there. Hmm, it's not melting. Good job, buddy. So here we've got McFlows. So McFlows means there is soda, and on top of that, there is ice cream. That's it, that's it. And this is McFlows melon. Itadakimasu. Ooh! <laughs> Still sweet. This is grape coffee McFlows. Mmm. And the last one, we've got Coke McFlows. Mm. Oh, uh, we have two exclusive slushies. One is a pink lemonade, strawberry watermelon. Yeah, dude, looks real good. Hot caramel sundae and the classic fudge sundae. We have a Black Forest McFlurry, a vanilla chocolate muffin and a chocolate chip muffin. It's kind of like a McFlurry soup right now. This would be really good when it was actually a McFlurry. Exclusive sauces, it's sauce talk time. Sauce talk. We have sweet and sour sauce. They gave me hot mustard. This would be honey mustard. Of course, ranch. Uh, ooh, spicy buffalo. Now these might be promotions because of uh, that uh, singing group BTS, but we have right now a Cajun sauce and a sweet chili sauce. This sauce is fantastic. This is the sauce. This has to stay on the menu. So these two are new ones. This one right here is soy sauce based sauce. Man, this is fantastic. Good job. Very good taste. So this one right here is called Louisiana hot sauce. Ooh, it does look like a very spicy one. This is not spicy at all. And then we've got a couple of sauces that are kind of unique to the UK as well. We've got a sweet curry dipping sauce. And then we've also got a salsa dip as well, which I didn't know existed until today. We have one exclusive spice mix as well as one exclusive sauce here in India. We have chili sauce, which is pretty straightforward. It's chili sauce. But let me tell you about Piri Piri Spice Mix. First, you get this shake bag, then you grab your fries and then you just pour that in there. Oh. Boom! Oh boy. Can we cut to a before of the fries? You saw how they were. Now look at these. You can see the little flecks of spice just adorning each fry. If that isn't like crack. Okay, breakfast time. This is a breakfast burrito. Oh, neon yellow egg. Mexican style salsa. Not to be confused with what Canadian salsa? <laughs> Let's go on to these breakfast sandwiches here. I don't know how to describe a biscuit other than it's dry, it's baked. Maybe they're made with cornmeal. According to the internet, this is not a scone. So there you go. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Our egg is like this fluffy folded Scramble egg egg. This is how we do it in the US. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Is there a better breakfast combination in the world? I don't think there is. Then they just have the sausage. No egg, no cheese, just sausage and biscuit. We have regular size hotcakes and we have a hotcake and sausage combo. And of course, comes with syrup and butter. <laughs> Very natural pose. Very natural feeling right now. Always up for a pour. Yes! Breakfast is served. Oatmeal on the side to be mixed in. Cranberries and raisins. And diced, oh! Diced apples. And here we've got mega muffin. Pork patties. That's a huge one. Mini pancakes. Oh, cute. It comes with Apple cream sauce. Ooh. Ooh. This is perfect for breakfast. I will get it. Bacon egg mac sandwich. So it's got bacon and round egg and cheddar cheese. That's it. And you might be surprised. 
we've got Fillerfish. Ta-da! So Fillerfish is on the breakfast menu. I guess Japanese people tend to eat fish for breakfast. We have a veg McMuffin and a sausage McMuffin. Mm. The sausage here in India is not made out of pork like it is in the US. Instead, it's made out of simple chicken. So while McDonald's fries might look and taste pretty similar in the UK and the US, in the UK we only have three ingredients, which is oil, salt and potatoes. The McDonald's french fries in America have way more ingredients. These fries are made from potatoes, obviously. A vegetable oil, which is canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, hydrogenated, hydrogenated, genitated? Uh, ha! Thank you. Hydrogenated soybean oil, natural, beef, flavor, dextrose, sodium, aspid, phosphatate, phosphatate, phosphate, pyrophosphate, pyrophosphate, sodium, acid, Pyrophosphate, which is used to maintain the color. Uh, are they that much of a different color than the ones in the UK? Is it worth it? Can we get a side-by-side -side comparison? Are they that much more bright yellow? We need to put sodium acid pyrophosphate or whatever it's called in it. Salt. And I should mention that a natural beef flavor contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as a starting ingredient. And of course, I have no idea what that means. McDonald's India does not share a full list of their ingredients, but there are some things we do know about their food. Like, did you know that McDonald's India actually changed Indian farming practices just so they could grow the kind of potato that they wanted? When they first launched in India in 1996, McDonald's promised the government that they would use products grown and sourced right here in India. But people who had eaten McDonald's abroad realized that the fries didn't taste quite the same. The reason for this is that Indian potatoes were too small, round, had way too much moisture and sugar content. And so the fries made out of them were not long enough, they didn't get crispy enough, and they didn't have that distinctive McDonald's oomph to them. So McDonald's partnered with McCain Foods and they spent nine years trying to perfect their potato. They imported saplings which had the perfect shape and starch content that they needed. They also chose Gujarat as their farming location for its climate and they switched from a flood irrigation to a sprinkler system to reduce moisture content and save water. The result? Bigger and more starchy potatoes that can be used to make the McDonald's fries that you know and love. So McDonald's Japan doesn't disclose their ingredients in the Big Mac. However, they do tell us where the ingredients come from. If you order a Big Mac in Japan, you'll eat beef from Australia or New Zealand. Buns made from wheat imported from the USA, Canada, and Australia. And pickles made from cucumbers grown in Turkey, Sri Lanka, or India. Onions grown in the USA or India. Sliced cheddar cheese made in New Zealand, Australia, the USA, or Japan. And lettuce grown in Japan, Taiwan, the USA, or Malaysia. The only ingredients that come from Japan are the cheese and the lettuce. And even then, McDonald's still imports some lettuce and cheese from other countries. So this is a very international burger. Thank you world, 